Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nuts and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. We are on update 1.2 which means that the, the Blood and Wine expansion has finally come out. So you uh, might already see a few differences in UI. Uh, when I go into the menu you'll see that, well, pretty much everything has changed in the menus. Which is also a great thing. And of course we can start the... Um, blood and wine expansion at any moment but we need to be level 34 I think to start that so we're gonna be uh, a ways off from that but today I have something different planned we're gonna do another Witcher gear episode and today we're gonna do the bear school gear uh, we are here on on Skellig uh, I think it's one of the most northern uh, islands that there are in uh, Skellige. So and we are on our way to the old... to the ruins of uh, Sag's castle. I'm gonna get uh, annoyed here. As you can see my uh, my signs have completed completely look completely differently. God damn it I can't talk anymore. There we go. The music has also changed. Uh, they added a few new tracks. There goes one. Oh, in the stomach. Okay. So I'm gonna make my way towards the old ruins, so I'll see you there in a second. Well, uh, the road to this place isn't really obvious. So I had to take a lot of side routes, but I think I'm almost there. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Another daring jump. Huh. Okay, I'm glad he can grab onto that. Yeah, thank you, tutorial. Oh, and there's a percentage bar next to Quen right now. That's also awesome. So let's look around here a bit, because there, uh, there might be something useful in here. In the old ruins of Clan Tuirsok's castle. There we go. Oh, this goes down. Um, okay then. Might want to check down. There doesn't seem to be anything yet. No creatures in my way. There seems to be a point of interest over here. The Ballad of Tora Torgir the Red. Let's read that immediately. That's handy. Hark, I shall sing you a tale of a Jarl brave and true, a warrior bold, friend to his people and to his foes wrath unrolled. Like a sturdy ship, his courage never leaked. Mighty was Jarl Thorgeir of Clan Tuirsag. For a man so grand, the Isles held plunder to few, so up Alba's shining waters he sailed with his crew. Arriving at the city of Golden Tower's walls, he raged, ravaged and roared and shook the Emperor's halls. But Nilfgaard knows to suture strife with coin, and so out cutroads crept the Jarl in battle to join, lured by the fattened Nilfgaardian purse to Skellige sail bandits, villains and worse. Girded for battle, the Jarl stood in his fort, yet Nilfs know no more honor than demon or court. A catapult they brought against the Jarl's mighty keep, the walls crumbled, burying his warriors deep. A notion of rubble swallowed men of a great many, here we name but few of that noble company, the Pilgrim Thor, Stig of Dovra born, slumbering Sigvard and the Witcher Gerd, to the last the Jarl's fateful guard. So there was a Witcher, Gerd, almost Geralt, that served as the Jarl's fateful guard. And we have a Wraith. That was not what I selected, but hey. There he goes. 
Ah, oh, it looks so fresh with the new interface. Uh, what else is there? A chest, and there's a lever over here. What does this do? Well, one of the doors opened. Let's go with Erden. And place it at our feet. And there go the Wraith. There we go, okay. And the one the other one died over here. So all the cells opened and there seems to be well a large drop on this side. Okay. That looks like a fresh corpse actually. So that's kind of weird. And another one. Daystar Relic. Interesting. Um, so we have this cell then. Nothing over here. Might want to check upstairs first before I uh, drop down. Just in case I missed anything. Oh, wait a second. Wait, I did come from here, right? can't get back up again. Okay then. Gerald is stumbling around in here. Did that just... Did I just completely miss that that was already in that state? Never mind. Let's drop down. And see what uh, lies beyond here. What the hell was that? That was a noise. There we go. The highlighting could be a bit better because I can't really see what I'm actively using. So caverns all over, all over the place. So that one looks a bit bigger. And there he goes. Okay, that was a that was a bigger one. Still a wraith though. Uh, nothing in here apparently. What the? Okay then. And there goes another one. Well, if they're gonna keep spawning, I should get... Hurry up the stairs here. Will I end up back in that throne room back there? Uh... There's... Oh no, I can't get up these stairs, so... Let's go up here. Okay, do I need to jump that? There we go. Let's keep Quen up, just in case we get ambushed again. And yeah, we're in that throne room right now. And there's a chest in the corner here. The Ballad of Witcher Gerd, Chronicles of Clan Twirsack. And one, two, three, four diagrams. So the diagrams of the armor. The Ballad of Witcher Gerd. There we go again. I'm not going to sing this, but... Righteous and brave of death never scared. Such a man had we in the Witcher Gerd then. Pursued by foul foes with intentions most vile, he made the last stand on Art Skellig's fair isle, fighting all the while. He arrived on her shores midst sobs and balls. Help, a dragon yon elven ruin scrawls. Hefting his sword in an expert grasp, he set off at once and slew the winged asp, smiling as it drew its last gasp. But fierce as fiends, his foes followed in his path, hounding his footsteps, hearts brimful of wrath. At night they attacked, using darkness as shields to no avail. Soon their own lives they did yield. By Witcher's hand was much blood spilled. Does a witcher's right nature to guard men from beasts, and so Ger Gerd? Gerd's silver sword did not rust in its sheet. Instead, to clan Twersek from Siren's defend, he forthwith to the caverns of Melusine did mend, and took the first step towards his end. Fragments missing. Jarl Torger returned and exclaimed with pride, fortunate he who has friends at his side. 
Proud is the Jarl who can quit his home keep, and find in his absence no dangers that creep, and Witcher saved all from death's deadly sleep. So he went towards the... Um, some cavern if I understand correctly, and now we need to read... What's with all the doors opening on their own? Okay! So I need to uh, read a tome. Oh shit, there are two. And there goes one. Oh, those are two more. That's even more great. Okay. Why is he outside? There we go. Okay. That was a bit harder than expected, but... There we go. So we have the armor diagram. So now we only need... Uh, I think there was one armor diagram missing. So we need the two swords of... Obviously. And maybe there's a crossbow as well. I don't really know. So let's open this up and get back outside. And let's read up on the Court Chronicler's tome. Let's do that first. And so there was much rejoicing in the castle at the appearance of an itinerant monster slayer in the person of the Witcher Gerd. Jarl Torgair, whose face in the month since the death of his battle brother Ingmar had worn a listless and saddened frown, came alive with renewed strength. Jarl and Witcher fast found common tongue, and soon were venturing on hunts together and hosting feasts, at which there was no end to laughter nor bluster. A bit further, then Jarl Torgir told Gerd of the hideous Striga, which prowled the ruins of Etnir, desecrating that once proud fortress which in happier times had stood a steadfast guardian of the northern expanses of Art Skellig. The Jarl's lament moved the Witcher, who announced he would slay said beast. Yet Witcher Gerd was a craftsman ever diligent and true, and so explained he first had to complete a prior contract and with a cave of Spikerug on Spikerug of Sirens. And so the Jarl gave Gerd a full pouch of coin and the services of Olven, Orgs' son, as a guide to take him safely to Spikerug, and if the danger grew fierce, to fight the Sirens at the Witcher's side. His heart filled with gratitude, Gerd entrusted an armor diagram to the Jarl, one he had long carried and held most dear, as a token of his sincere intent to return as soon as he had finished his allotted task. So Gerd must have died in that uh, Siren's Cavern. Um, so we're gonna head first to Fort Etnir, where he laughed and uh, left one of the armor diagrams, so there's one armor diagram still missing. Uh, and try and retrieve that, and then we'll head to that Siren's Cave. So see you at the ruins of Fort Atnir. Hmm. Nice side note, I was uh, trying to find a way out and I actually found a, a, another marker here. If you continue up the mountain from the ruins, you need to do quite a lot of climbing. You can actually see. You, you have a place of power here, so... Uh, there we go, a quant place of power. Uh, also something new in the update, you can now see on plants what their ingredients are that they're gonna give you. So crow's eye just gives you crow's eye. There's also a chest here, so uh, ash rune again. And then we can even go down this staircase. Um, so yeah, I don't know what this is. Trial of Dexterity Completion Token. That's probably for some other quest, I presume. So, uh, see you at Fort Adnir. So, it's uh, quite a ways off from where we were on a different island as well. It's just on Arts Gallic itself. And, um, well, there seems to be two gargoyles and an earth elemental here. So that's going to suck big time. So I would say, uh, wish me luck, because this is gonna suck. Um, so I know most of them are Elementa. 
So let's put at least elemental oil on. Yeah, this one. There we go. Oh shit! Let's lure him a bit further, because this is a... Uh... Okay, there goes one. I think this is... This is going pretty well, I think. Uh, so that's one gargoyle down. Elemental essence. Nicely, nicely. And now I... I do want to lure out that other gargoyle first, because I think he's a bit more aggressive than... Yeah, okay, there we go. As I said, a bit more aggressive. Okay, that's the second gargoyle. There we go. Heart and dust, and now I'm gonna need to, well, save again, and I'm gonna need to reapply that oil as well. So oils, potions, bombs are now separate in the menu, which is really handy as well. Actually, have a nice overview. So let's went up, get me some urn. Now let's take on the earth elemental, ice elemental. Okay, never mind. This is gonna get hard. I would think fire would work against an ice elemental. Okay. Um, I don't know why, but this guy is way over my level. Still seem to be able to do damage, but Whew. okay, never mind. Well, since that guy can one hit me, I should probably not antagonize him much. I'm gonna keep out of the way. See if I can't find what I need. Arrest warrant for the Witcher Gerd. That's weird. Let it hereby be known that the Witcher known as Gerd has committed foul crimes against the Ducal Tiara, namely insulting Her Grace's Majesty, resisting Her Grace's guards, collaborating with the Usurper and the other such deeds bringing harm to Ducal Tiara. Any persons providing him shelter will be considered complicit in his crimes. It is the duty of each and every one of Ducal Tiara's subjects to provide any and all possible help to the agencies of the law who seek to capture the bandit. For the apprehension of Witcher Gerd, Witcher Gerd, dead or alive, we have set a reward in the amount of 300 RC dinars. In the name of Her Grace Hel Helena Lang Hare, heiress of, to the Duchy of Arxi, Suzerain of Gelibol, Hieronymus Usar Castellan. So, he was uh, under arrest. So the Knight Shalimir's letter and the diagram for the Silver Sword. Uh, let's read his letter. Your most honored grace, the Duchess of Arxi. The Witcher Gerd feared your grace's wrath, feared your grace's righteous fury. So off he fled to Skellige, to that hive of pirates, thieves and other such bandits. In sooth, the gods must have smiled on our quest, for quickly did we catch his foul scent and track him to a public house near the village of Fearsdal, where he was banqueting with the locals. Some sought to protect him, treating the traitor's man as a companion in arms. We therefore showed him them no mercy and burned the inn to the ground. Alas and alack, the witcher escaped us once again, but we tracked him to the ruins of the old fortress called Etnir, where he went to hide or else perchance lay in wait by some monster. We made haste to, the, to assault this position with all our strength, 
But still, the treacherous foe slew five of my men, wounded me most severely, and brought the ruins roof collapsing down on us with some witchcraft. Never fear, we shall surely free ourselves from here soon. Meanwhile, I have ordered the vile witcher's campsite searched and have found a diagram for some highly curious weapon. It is enclosed with this writing entrusted to your grace's safekeeping. Another day perhaps too and we shall dig ourselves out of this rubble and catch the witcher. If fate is kind perhaps I shall next send your grace not a missive but the witcher's scalp. Yet it must be said that from the very start he slighted your grace with his most rude and brusque manners. Though it is beyond the reasoning of a simple knight such as I to comprehend how a base worm like that could dare refuse your duchessness anything. Why, serving your most graciousness is an honor, and anyone who shuns such service reveals himself as a simpleton and a knave. Thank all the heavens, the gods watch over your graceful being and the merciless usurper, that twisted wretch who deems himself your father could be ripped off his stolen throne without the need for that mutant's help. Yet it is a witcher's swerving employ, your grace, if you're, you will pardon my Temerian to kill monsters and your good grace's father why what was he if not a beast a murderous monster lapping up the blood of innocence and since he was such a monster though draped in human skin revealing his monstrous form only though through deeds and not demeanor the witcher ought to have killed him as her grace asked of him therefore it is just that said freak shall pay with his neck for violating the dictates of honor and witcher law alike your grace's humble servant Galimir of Black Fridland of the Brand Banner. So a certain duchess demanded the witcher to kill her father, which he refused and then they called him a freak and all the other things. So I'm gonna run away from that thing. So uh, we now have another place we need to go, the ruins of an inn. And then we have that siren's cave we still need to go to. So see you at the ruins of that inn where he stayed at first, apparently, when he was fleeing from those men. So see you there in a second. Well, I kind of was in luck, aside from that scary uh, sight. Um, there is actually a marker here already if you bought those uh, maps. Let's take the crossbow. There goes one. There goes another one. And there go the sirens. So I'm gonna presume, because this is an abandoned site, that uh, people will start reappearing any second now. But first, give me all that loot. Siren vocal cords. That sounds ominous. There seems to be a monster nest here as well. Might Siren be from. Den. Yeah, there we go. Gotta ruin it for them. So let's destroy that while we're at it. There we go. And then destroy the echidna that comes running after it. Echidna are a special kind of uh, sirens. And there it goes as well. So let's take all that. And now all the people will return. So that clears it up a bit for me to get that diagram that should be behind that house over there. Well, over there somewhere at least. Um, didn't I miss anything over here? I would think I... Oh, damn it. I missed the corpse of that echidna. Okay, never mind. Apparently I took everything I could take. Uh, there's apparently treasure in here, so let's check that out. 
It's sometimes really unclear with these... Uh... Okay. Fjall, I've got bad news for you. Your father's ship sank off the southern coast of Arts Kallak. far as I know, there were no survivors. Uh, that's probably... Oh yeah, another quest. Yeah, there we go. Probably one of the treasure hunts. But we're on a treasure hunt of our own, so we're not going to do that. I am going to loot the shit out of this place. Another she shell. There seems to be something else down there as well, but I can't... Can't reach that. Nope, okay. So let's go get the diagram. Should be around here somewhere. Yeah. There seems to be another monster here as well. Yeah, people are gonna freak out if you use Quen near them, but... Seems to be another wraith here. Well, two, actually. And beat the shit out of those wraiths. And there we go. No looting? Oh, the loot is up top. Okay, never mind. I'll get that in a second. So there's a letter here. Arrest warrant. Yeah, we've seen that. Um... But did he leave something here? Must have stayed in one of those rooms. Maybe the back one over here? Yeah, there's a chest. There we go, Earthsign Steel Sword. The innkeep's notes. That was right before dusk, when then a witcher showed, dirty and unshaven and stinking worse than a fisherman from Faro. Asked for a room and a bucket of water so he could freshen up some. First I didn't want to let him in on account of the bloody sack he was carrying, but then it came out he had arranged to meet Jorgen Ironhand here, and a friend of Jorgen's a friend of mine. Sun had long sat by the time Jorgen showed, Witcher handed him that sack and we all learned why it stank so bad. Inside was the head of a siren. Jorgen had contracted the Witcher to take it down after it attacked some folk in a cave in the northwestern part of Spikerogue. Seeing it dead sheared folk all full fast and Jorgen happy as a clam, started buying everybody around. The witcher refrained at first, saying he was off to take care of a striga that infested the ruins of a fortress on the northern edge of the isle, but in the end he gave in, after all there's no refusing Jorgen. Made a lovely heap of coin that day, for the sun started rising and not a man had gone home. The witcher got drunk with Jorgen and started telling his tales, then we sat down for some Gwent. That Gerd he might be a first class warrior, but he's one lousy card player. Lost half his reward for that siren to me and drank the other half. Then, wanting to win it back, he waged a diagram for some kind of steel sword. To my eye it was a scrap of rubbish, but fuck it, some things you gotta do for the sake of sportsmanship and camaraderie. So I accepted the wager, and he clearly won. So uh, only one diagram left to look for, so I'm gonna head to that siren's cave. I had some practice right now with all the sirens over here. So uh, that shouldn't give me any trouble, so see you guys at that Siren's Cave in a second. I must say this is going to be a long episode, but uh, without those maps this would have taken a lot longer. There seems to be a lot of enemies over there, but those maps really help because I need... I think I visited four uh, separate islands, which is a bitch. But hey, this... Should be the Siren's Cave around here, so yeah, there we go. Let's see what's inside here. Probably Sirens, but... A new marker. That's not really a marker, but hey. Stinks of carrion. Necrophages. Probably Necrophages. That lights up the place really nicely. And we apparently started another uh, another contract, but I'm not gonna actually act on that because uh, I really want to have my uh, quest separated. There go the drowners. So let's do it to those guys. I hear a lot more. There's loot along the way. I 
There seems to be three or f four even over there, and then three over here. A very big siren. Well, that's going to suck if I need to fight that as well. Drowners, drowners, drowners. There's a lot of blood in this place. That's probably because I just killed that drowner, but hey. Um, I really don't want to start that quest, actually. So, the marker still points me over here. But it looks like there's a, an upper area over here. So, I might... Need to continue down the the cavern and try to loop around. Probably to the left here then. Because this place is dark, but I think I'm on the right track. This looks like I can get up. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm probably gonna have to jump across. Is this solid? Yeah, okay. Oh, there we go, the Ursine crossbow. Letter to Ingeborga Kalibstolter. That's the name. So let's read that. My dearest Ingerborga arrived at Fort Twersock on summer's first day. He tarried there a while, draining more than one barrel of meat with a Jarl. Soon both were fast friends. Then one day Jarl Torgir summoned me and ordered me to sail to Spikerook with him to show him to where the sirens were the thickest. It's no exaggeration, my little mountain goat. To say I've never met a warrior like him in my life. He's light as an eel and strong as a boar, as a bear. So that's that guy uh, that was sent along with the Witcher. When the sirens came at us, I hadn't even time to seize my axe before he'd gutted them all. And his weapon, why, I've never seen its like. A crossbow, but so small he wields it with one hand. I know he has a sketch of it in his saddlebags, for I spied it when he was packing up. Once he's asleep, I'll try to sketch a copy to take to our smith on, on Skellig, so he can make others, so we can protect ourselves from the sirens in case they return. Soon as dawn breaks, we're off. Sirens are swarming thicker and thicker. My hands are numb from so much sword swinging, and my breath's ragged. But thinking of you gives me strength. So that guy died. Uh, it's too bad that we haven't found what happened to the Witcher since he never returned to uh, the other guy, to the Jarl. Okay, is there another secret over here? No, okay. So now, as I always do, I'm gonna head back to uh, Oxenfurt, since I always go to Oxenfurt to craft the armor. And uh, I'll see you guys there in a second. Come on. So back in lovely Oxenfurt, well it's not so lovely with this giant storm at the moment, but uh, let's go pay a visit to our armorer, which should be right in here. Oh, I'm almost taking the long route. It's over here. So let's enter and talk to the man. Greetings again. So, you got a job Hello, for me, friend. One. Of course. Yeah, I'd like you to cross something. You're in luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. Okay, so same as before, we're gonna check out... Yeah, thank you, tutorial. What we can make immediately. So I already found the superior Ursine boots, apparently. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now. The normal boots appear to be right here. So there we go. Boots. Then the chest armor. The Ursine armor, there we go, immediately as well. Then, let's close this for a second. Check out the Ursine gauntlets. Components missing. It looks like a monster tongue. I can make that. Not a problem at all. And then the trousers, Ursine trousers. Oh, already everything we need, so uh, let's make that as well. So the only thing we need to do is um, dismantle one of the Drowner Tongues into a Monster Tongue. Um, let's not check equipment, but check other. 
should be down here somewhere if we finally get there. Uh, tongue, 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 tongue. I think it's one of the blue ones. Yeah, here we go. Monster tongue. So let's dismantle. Well, dismantle two just in case. Uh, there we go. And then back to crafting and go for the um, boots we did, chest armor we did, and crafting components, the gauntlets. First sign, gauntlets. There we go. Look at that. So that went pretty smoothly. And now we'll head so to the long. blacksmith and see if he can help us with the swords and the crossbow. I'm gonna equip it in a second when we have everything so you can see everything in one nice package. Hopefully I don't need to meditate to get him back out. Is he working? Is he not working? He doesn't look like he's working. So give me a second to meditate. And maybe I'll even... Uh, I have two points available since I leveled up and I um, found the place of power. So I'm gonna go with uh, increasing the Quen intensity further. So upgrade that twice and put that over here since we unlocked another slot as well. So three Quen sign intensity. And then meditate till, well, after the morning. Close to noon. There we go. Is he working? Yeah, he's working. Okay. Ah, a cost. Hello, friend. So willing to craft something? Will you craft something? Probably. So, uh, crossbow. Earth sign crossbow. Also level twenty nine. Same as the feline crossbow. But I do have everything, so I'm gonna create it nonetheless. And then junk. And then we have the. Earth sign silver sword, no problem at all. My hoarding is paying off again. And then the earth sign steel sword, also not a problem at all. So, that's the complete set, and now let's equip it to uh, make a really nice demonstration. So, nope, there we go. No, I wanna, I wanna go in there. Yeah, thank you. Earth sign silver sword, let's equip that. Earth sign steel sword. Just so we can see what it looks like. And then the earth sign armor, it is heavy armor. So that's one of the biggest reasons that I'm not gonna use it. Since I'm pretty Quen based. But that's what it looks like. Um, I don't think they added a zoom yet. So uh, that's that over there. Let's look at it over here. It has a really nice combat skirt if, if you like. Uh, the swords are pretty big. I can't equip the crossbow since it's level 29 but that's the earth sign armor set and the earth sign equipment. So uh, that's the scavenger hunt for the bear school gear. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always we end up end the episode here at the blacksmith. If you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, give it a toll to subscribe to my channel, because I really appreciate the support. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!